In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom paintbrush from an image using Affinity Designer. So I'm using version 2 of the software. If you're using version 1, the process should be very similar. So I've got this image of an eyeball on my PC. This particular image has no background. You can use any image you want, but one with no background will naturally look a lot better. So let's open up Affinity Designer. So I'm just going to close that. So once you're on the main page, make sure you choose the pixel persona option and then go over to the right hand side and you can see your brushes. So before you begin, you should create a new category to keep your new brushes in a separate location, just so it's easy to find them and so on. So click on the three dashes and select create new category and just give your new category a name. I've already done this, so I've created one called custom brushes. So whatever folder you choose this is where your new brushes will appear so again click on the three dashes to add this image and this time select the new image option towards the bottom so it's new image brush and then you can choose the uh, image from your pc so i'm going to choose the eyeball and it should appear in the in the section here so it may take anywhere from kind of five to 20 seconds to appear so just give it time so if i go to the brush tool paintbrush tool and then select the the brush i just created i can now increase the size if i want to and now i can use the the image as a paintbrush so as it is it doesn't look particularly great it looks more like a snake than an eyeball so i'm just going to delete that so we can edit the brush so if we go to the brush select it and then right click on your touchpad on your mouse and select the edit brush option at the top so now we can make some adjustments so we can choose the size if we want to adjust the size we can also adjust the accumulation we can adjust the spacing which i think is the most important one so that looks more natural we can also go to the dynamics option again not not all these filters will work with your particular brush but you can try them so we can adjust the size jitter we can adjust some of these options here. And if you wanted to adjust the color of the image, you can choose the hue jitter option, which you can see now every individual eye is a slightly different color. And we can also adjust the saturation, which again changes the color slightly. So once you're happy with the, with the look, we can close this window and then go back to the paintbrush tool. And again, make sure it's selected and this time hopefully it should look a lot better so if i use it we can now see it's spaced out nicely and all the eyeballs are different colors so you can now see here yeah, i can use the paintbrush to create a very effective background just like that so it's really that simple and if you did want to apply individual settings to a to the same brush you can duplicate this brush by selecting it right click and we can duplicate the brush and again, just go through the same process, right click and select the edit option and you can apply different settings to each individual brush and so on. So that's it. Thanks for watching.